Okay, so just go out east and beach. Just had a little whiting so far. Lovely night for it, calm as anything. But tonight we're targeting the ultra and spotted ray. Hopefully we see one between the three people that are fishing here tonight. See so hopefully I'll be with you a fish or a little tip. Bass rod's going a little bit, as you can see there. It's only close on a little rag worm or grab bait. We sort out the fish in a second. So the baits we got with us today, some freshly got crab. Got some beautiful peelers in there. Freshly got ourselves. That right one you see is the new leg there. Got some dug rag. Got some like a sound of mackerel squid. I've had no fight and I got Ray on. Right, there you go, look, he's fighting, he's kicking. Bending that rod. See him, look, there he goes. Kicking again. Alright, Alpha, I need you. There you go. Go down there and look, pull him out, actually. That's where I'll go. Is he there? I just want the camera to get him out. Look, he's scrapping again. He's only close in now. There you go, look. Yeah. He's scrapping again. He's going Angela! Yay! Oh, fuck, this is the most one in all! Fucking hell! It's the most one! Got it? Yeah. And that is what Angela we're calling Ray, Angela. Woohoo! Come on! Here's my Angela Ray. Quite, I'm really happy. Put the sand hill rod right over. Right, we'll get a few stills here and there. And we'll show you the way of it. Right, just add this lovely Angela Ray of £10 just waiting, dead on nose, £10. What a beauty. Let's go put them back. Beautiful fish. 34cm pound grab. Not bad. Session's panning out just right. Add a couple of now. Um, add that undulate. Add a nice bite earlier. Luke's lost the ray. Um, yeah, we're still getting bites every cast and that. So yeah, we're just open to pluck out a few bigger fish. I mean, the tide's still right out. So we weren't really expecting much yet anyway. So, yeah, we've still got all night ahead of us. So hopefully we have a few nice fish. Okay, just gonna show you how I'm baiting up my scratching rig. So I've got my little two can flapper. I'll well up one down to be precise. But it works. Just get our rag baits. Even though I've dug these this morning, they've gone a bit like I don't know how to put them, I've put them with some white like, peat and it's kind of like drained them a little bit, they're a bit gone. But what I'll do is instead of going through the mouth, just go through the side of the head, gives it a bit more wriggle. The pods are still going completely, every cast. Even the crab bait's going through every cast, getting the smooth rounds, hopefully. Even the little ones are quite good fun sometimes. Pull down the stop, see the left of your worm. Freely like that. Let's grab. Right, there's a crab ad last cast. Now this one is some freshly dug prime lug worm if you can see them there. Pick out a few. Luke's bringing in, he might have a little fish. So with lug, I tend to go in through the tail because I don't know, it's just a thing I've done since I've always, since I first started using them. I tend to find it pop, doesn't pop as easy if you put it through the tail. But look, no popping. He's on there fine. Pick out another firmish worm, chuck on the thing. They do tense up. And just thread them on. Hopefully this will get us a few nice little fish. Let's play about one. This little dogger and a bit of sand hill. Lovely fish. Lovely fight as well. Thought I had another ray, but nah. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll put it close in on some crab baits and so just knocking about. So we'll get these boys so we can have a few. They're all on peanut crab. Let's see if we can get it on camera. It was going around there. Not there. 
I'm from here, so. See? I think I'm waiting looking at my crab baits. Little buggers. I'm trying to get to them little hounds and the bats. Just can't get through these all. You know. Yeah, I'm just going to show you how I bait up my sound little rig. Get your pen works. My choice of hooks is two chinos. Um, get your sand eel. This is a preference, but I like to get rid of his head. Straight from the top there, about there. If he comes. Well, I suppose you say it allows for more juice to come out. And um, so you get your sand eel, and I just go through the top of his head there, background, lay your hook among the back of the sand hill. get your cotton you can tell I've got a bit of a bunged up nose still managed to get out and just bind them on equally bind all over until you end up with a evenly Rounded sand hill. Just go back over the hook again a few times. Make sure that he's all set in. Point in. And you're left with a streamlined sand hill bait. Get your hook. Bring them up, your panel. Go one, no, it's right. One, two, three, four. Straight, no, it's still that side. Straight for his belly. Now, he's got one hook facing that way, one hook facing that way. And that should get me a nice spotted ray, hopefully. So I just had this, this little strap conga. I think it's a conga anyway, by these little, this bit here. I think that's what makes it the conga anyway. But yeah, caught on a baby, baby's, whole baby squid, about 50, 60 yards out. So, yeah, we're all green today. I had a pretty good session so far. Yeah, it's been a good session. I'm crab bait going. As we speak. Crab bait going. Crab Just caught this dogfish on a rag bait. So I'm just gonna show you out there how to unhook unhook a dogfish. Without scratch through without stuff. yeah without grazing yourself. They curl up anyway, so just curl it up. Then put all of that. Hold them tight. They don't normally just pop out, but this one, it's just quite a blood on me. And that's how you want to talk about hurting yourself, as it is pretty tough. Yeah. Right on. Cheers. So, I put out my last peel of crab, thought, like, you know, just chuck out a big bait, left out about 15 minutes, spam the rods going over. Coated me all up tied. Got this lovely nine and a half she went, didn't it? Yeah. Nine and a half pound form back. That's another PV for me. Two in one night. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at the thickness of this fish. And that, what a cool fish. And two rays in one night for me. Cracking.